Good morning, Endure Elite family of fast. Today, we're going to do a little product education on our Creatine Elite, our standalone creatine monohydrate product. More specifically, I'm going to tell you how creatine monohydrate works, the benefits it can provide to endurance athletes, and then the best way to take it. So let's get right to it. So creatine monohydrate works by saturating muscle creatine stores. And when it's stored in the muscle, it's stored to something called creatine phosphate. And this is important. I'll get to it in a second. As we exercise, we break down something called ATP for energy. When this ATP is broken down, we're left with something called ADP. Now here's where creatine comes in. Creatine phosphate stored in the muscles will actually donate a phosphate group to this ADP to reform ATP or energy. So in the simplest sense, creatine monohydrate works by rapidly replenishing ATP so you can exercise longer for stronger. Now, what about the benefits of creatine monohydrate? In the past, you know, creatine has mostly been thought to be used by the gym crowd, but it has some unique advantages for endurance athletes. More specifically, it can increase muscular power, muscular strength, muscular endurance. It can act as a hyperhydrator. It can also have some unique brain boosting benefits because besides being stored in the muscle, creatine is actually stored in the brain. So all these things, the muscular power, strength, and endurance, and hyperhydration can all benefit your endurance performance. Think about when you're cycling, if you need to really crank down on the pedals and produce more power, creatine monohydrate can help with that by rapidly replenishing the ATP. Same thing with strength. If you're an obstacle course racer and you have a, you know, a heavy pickup or a flip, creatine monohydrate can help you produce explosive amounts of strength and power. And then for the endurance and hyperhydration, I mean, that just makes sense for endurance athletes. If you're able to run longer and stay hydrated for longer, especially in a hot and humid environment, creatine monohydrate will definitely benefit that. Now, the best way to take creatine monohydrate is to take anywhere from 2.5 to 5 grams daily, uh, basically every day. There's no loading period required. And creatine monohydrate is one of those ingredients that you have to load to get the benefit. You can't just take it one time and expect to get these benefits of the creatine monohydrate. Now, the range as far as the dosage is the 2.5 to 5 is because of this. One of the negative side effects of creatine monohydrate, if you can look at it as a negative, is it will cause weight gain at five grams daily. Now, if you cut that amount back to 2.5 grams daily, you'll get a lot of the benefits of the creatine monohydrate without the weight gain. So, that in a nutshell is what creatine monohydrate is about and why it is beneficial for endurance athletes to take.